obesity has now reached epidemic proportions in the United States. And for many years, the only option for those who were at least 100 pounds overweight or morbidly obese was major surgery. The two most common procedures for morbid obesity have been the gastric bypass or the vertical banded gastroplasty. These procedures normally require a large incision and the cutting, stapling, and removal of a portion of the patient's stomach, as well as possible rerouting of the gastrointestinal tract. Today, there is a new surgical option that is less invasive and eliminates many of the risks associated with bariatric surgery. This revolutionary device is the Lap Band Adjustable Gastric Banding System developed by Inamed Health. It is laparoscopically placed around the top of the stomach, just below the gastric esophageal junction, creating a small gastric pouch and stoma. This procedure reduces stomach capacity and limits food consumption, enabling patients to experience a feeling of fullness while consuming smaller portions. The interior diameter of the band can be adjusted by inserting a special non-coring needle into a subcutaneous access port that is attached to the lap band. This allows the surgeon the opportunity to adjust the size of the stoma by injecting or removing saline from the band, depending on the needs of the patient. Weight loss surgery or bariatric surgery is quickly becoming more common nationwide. The number of surgeries performed in the past two years has jumped 110 percent, with more than 100,000 procedures performed in 2003. The two most common are gastric bypass surgery and lap band procedure. Well, they're both surgeries that require general anesthesia. However, the gastric bypass is much more invasive. What it does is it involves cutting the stomach down to the size of a golf ball and rearranging your intestines so that food never goes through the 95 percent of your stomach. On the other hand, lap band is much less invasive. There's no cutting and rearranging of your intestines, but instead a very small device is wrapped around the very top of your stomach acting like a little choker and it narrows the stomach so that it causes you to feel full with a less amount of food. Both can lead to dramatic weight loss. We've heard of celebrities losing weight with gastric bypass, while Sharon Osborne lost 99 pounds with the lap band. But there are some important differences between the two surgeries. The lap band operation is much safer than the gastric bypass. In fact, it's 10 times safer. One of the major reasons is that there is no cutting of your stomach, no cutting of your intestine, and no rearrangement or reconnection of your insides. One in every 200 patients dies from gastric bypass. There are strict post-operative eating guidelines, and the surgery can often lead to multiple follow-up surgeries and medical problems due to a lack of nutrition. Unlike gastric bypass, lap band procedure is reversible and can be done with little or no hospital stay required. However, the weight loss is a much slower process and can often take months for significant results. For Colleen Murdoch, who so far lost 100 pounds, the procedure was the right decision. It was so easy to recover from. I mean, within a couple of hours, I was walking around after surgery. I was not in pain. I was able to go back to my job within one week's time, and I felt wonderful. Doctors say to speak with your medical physician to decide if you're a candidate for weight loss surgery.